Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 13, 12 to 20. So when he had washed their feet and taken his garments and reclined at the table again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If then the Lord and the teacher washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another. For I gave you an example that you should also do as I did to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a slave is not greater than his master, nor is one who is sent greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I do not speak of all of you. I know the ones I have chosen, but it is that the scripture may be fulfilled. He who eats my bread has lifted up his heel against me. From now on, I'm telling you before it comes to pass, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who receives whomever I sent receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. John 13, 12 to 20. Here's my devotional. Do as I did to you. Just before Jesus was to die on the cross, he had his last supper with his, with, with his disciples. He explained to them the reason behind the washing of their feet. He was their Lord and teacher, and yet he did the most menial task of washing their feet. He was showing them that leadership in God's economy is not like the world system. He, he evidently give them an example to emulate. In verse 16, he clearly identified that the slave cannot be greater than their master, nor he is greater than his father who sent him. What the world consider as great is to be served. Not, but in God's economy, it's the opposite. If you want to be first, you would have to serve others. He also stresses to them that he knows exactly who belongs to him, and if they are of him, they would follow as he does. They have to serve others as he serves them. How many believers really understand servant leadership that Jesus role model for all of his disciples? The world keeps messing up the humble act of serving. It generates the concept of being served rather than the opposite. It is a world that propagates pleasing oneself rather than serving God. Humans deal with a lot of distractions in their lives. But they forget the real purposes of their lives. They only want to satisfy their wants and desires and ensure that they are in control. It becomes harder and harder to trust God and others. Reflection. How can a believer fight the urge to follow the world system instead of pleasing God by serving them or serving others. Well, um, you need to have a very, very close relationship with the Lord. You need to be in the Word of God because you know if you are closer to the Lord, if you're in the Word of God, you will understand what He wants you to do. And in this uh, chapter, it says, do as I did to you, meaning follow whatever Jesus did. So Jesus did even though he was God, he did this humble act of washing their feet, meaning cleansing them. Uh, even if it's a menial job, he didn't care because he loved them. So everything that uh, Jesus did was because he loved them. So if we are followers of Jesus, we ought to love our others. So I encourage you, do as Jesus did. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube. So, um, thanks for watching. God loves you so much.